At the closest point, there are only 12 miles between Scotland and Ulster. For more than 1,500 years, countless thousands have crossed this narrow sea. And all the The way we speak is who we are, what our history is, what our culture is, where we're from. The Ulster Scots area of 20 miles around Coleraine, where Ulster Scots, and it was the natural language of the people. I think the Ulster Scots Broadcast Fund highlights a way of life, a culture and heritage, and a people and place even. It's the kind of job where you find yourself in positions you never would be in, in any other job. I like the idea that the scheme was straight away hands-on. You're into companies and see how the industry really works. So it was a really logical way to get straight in at the action. You're looking at the cultural inheritance, being really careful to pass this down like a really treasured heirloom. The very first placement I had on the scheme, I went into below the radar and worked on a programme called HEAM. Everybody gathered up here for a yarn, tell stories. Hear the gossip. You hear the gossip. Which was really great because I went in and straight away was into production. They were going out filming within a couple of weeks and I learned a lot and I think it was a really good way just straight in at the deep end. I felt great affinity with Scotland. We would be Ulster Scots. Like. After that, I went into a development role at Double Band and I was working on a farming programme. You see Scotland today? I'd say the very north of Scotland whenever we were over it, you'd have thought it was Ballymena. That was really great and it was good to see then how development leads into production. And then after that, I went to Erica Starland for my final placement and worked in research. In France, they would call this a mirepoix. I'm from Macadou and we call it a shaki. I hope you enjoy your journey back into the past. So it was good, I kind of seen all those aspects of how you come up with an idea, take it through development and research, and then make it happen. I take it off the page and put it on TV. The Ulster Scots migration to America continued through the 18th and into the 19th century. <laughs> love of God, woman, how do you wish? There'd be new made talk on America in this house. And if I begged and went down on my knees on all fours here before him in the gutter, yon Egypt wouldn't hand one herring over. You can find out much more about Ulster Scott's families of this area from the additional content. They're designed to be played on smartphone or tablets so you can watch them while you walk. Enjoy. Juke. Oh, my head is so sore. Did he fash her cellar up?